I'd like to show you an update I made for people who want to include uh, their promoted listing fee. Okay, and the way this works is you just enter the percentage, the boost fee percentage that you set for the listing, and it will calculate the promoted listing fee as a percentage of your sale. All right, as a quick example, let's just say you pay $20 for an item. Um, the break even is 2331. Remember, this break even means uh, 2331 if the buyer doesn't pay any tax or anything. Uh, and if, if this is your final value fee, okay, you can change this. If your final value fee is 9.15%, you can change that and you will get a different break even. Now it's 2308. Okay. Anyway, so you uh, put a resale price, let's say, um, $39.99. All right, and let's just say it's free shipping. And let's say you're not, let's say, let's pretend the buyer's not paying any shipping and you're also not paying any shipping. Okay, let's say this is just the total uh, cost. All right, let's just say. All right, your payment is $39.99. Um, the buyer's payment with tax, all right? If the buyer doesn't pay tax, you cannot leave this blank. Otherwise, the PayPal fee won't calculate. So you have to put $39.99, okay? If the buyer pays no tax. If the buyer pays tax, put whatever number eBay gives you. eBay gives you two numbers, right? They give you your payment, and they give you what the buyer actually paid, which is including the buyer's tax. And that is how they calculate your PayPal fees. It's based on this, the buyer payment with tax. It is not based on your payment. It's, it was before, but now it's based on this. Okay, um, then you have the boost fee. So now let's say you boosted it at 1%. Let's say you did a 1%, right? What it's doing, if you look at the formula, it's um, over here for promoted listing fee. It's multiplying this percentage by the payment. All right, so whatever payment you get, it's going to take the 1% out, and this is the promoted listing fee. If you did not boost it, make sure this is blank, right? If you did not boost, then you put nothing, 0%, in other words. Um, the fee is calculated. It is then added. Okay, again, we have the final value fee percentage that's here, and um, it's just going to add all these fees together, so now your total fees will be 552. Okay, it's going to add RTV and W together. And now you have the, your payment minus the fees, and this is what's left. And then you take that and subtract the cost of goods back here, right? The $20 that I paid to get it in the first place, and that is my profit, which is left. All right, you have your markup, which is your percentage of the cost. In other words, your profit, how does it compare to your cost, all right? What percentage of your cost is your profit, in other words, right? So your profit divided by your cost. That's your markup. And then you have your margin, which is your percent of sale. It's, it's the profit you made compared to the price that you charged for it, right? Your uh, profit margin. Okay, and that's basically how this works. Of course, the formulas are copied down for the boost fee and everything else. Uh, but just really want to remind you about this. Remember... Now let's say the, the if the buyer paid tax, of course, you're going to have a different amount. So sometimes you might see two amounts, right? You see the buyer's amount, let's say it's 4140. Then you're going to put that here and you see you're going to have a different PayPal fee. All right. And of course, your boost fee is going to be um, the same because it's a percentage of, of your payment. Okay. That's what the boost fee is. It's a percentage of your payment. Okay. So... Um, this won't change, but the PayPal fee depends on this. Okay, so you cannot leave this blank. I um, just wanted to point that out. And that's pretty much it. And just a reminder that this link works. So if you have an item that's already listed, you know, you can put your item number here. All right, if you already have an item number. Um, and when you click the link, it's going to open the item. Okay, this is just a random item that I picked. All right, and you see it brings you to the item. Even if you're not, you don't have to be signed in to your account because it's it's using eBay's URL, eBay.com slash item, and then I just add, you know combined it with the item number, right? So it doesn't matter if you're signed in or not. Um, and that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions as usual um, or any comments, you just leave them in the video. This was just a quick update about the promoted listings fee, and. Uh, 
keep an eye out if you're subscribed um, if you're subscribed to me via email you know just keep an eye out for my emails make sure um, they're going to your inbox or I mean they may not be going to your inbox they might go somewhere else but if they are just you know check for them I might send you an email here and there with any other uh, updates or um, new videos new system or any other uh, spreadsheets that I personally use that I then create a version for everyone else to use all right and hopefully it's helpful to you uh thanks for watching and take care